Hello, I am American Cheeseburger 213, and I'm going to give you a quick run through of the Any% percent No Wrong Warp category. So, the timing starts when you hit OK for a new save file. I'm going to skip this cutscene. And this is a little bit of a setup before you actually do a run. You can have a save file with these settings already. Uh, already set and once you click on that file and exit out it automatically goes to the settings for the new game so uh, I like to have the sound a little bit lower it's only an option it doesn't matter uh, voice needs to be off because every time Gex enters a TV or exits a TV he will say something and that loses a, quite a bit of time throughout the run and then you want expert view which just has the better camera for getting around. So the fastest form of movement in this game is the karate kick. You do it by holding R2 and pressing X while running. You need to be running or else it will just crouch. There's also two different types of two different heights you can get when you are tail bouncing. One when you're not moving which gets you this height and then when you move it gets you a little bit higher. So I'm going to be doing the beginning. I'm going to be showing you what you can be doing in the beginning to make it easy. It's just a quick run through. So you load in over here. You want to karate kick to this remote and enter in to your first into the first level of holiday broadcasting. <clears throat> In this level, we will be getting three remotes. So in the beginning route, we won't go, we won't do the bench because that's a little bit tough with the timing for it. Uh, it might have been better to actually go up here. So when you start, I think it might be better to make your way up here to get to the section. It might be a little bit faster. So here's a little trick that you can do. In the next loading zone, in this level, there is a board, a snowboard that it loads you onto. You can keep going, I think it's the same speed, but if you want more control, you can uh, hug this wall and then jump while going through the loading zone and you will have a little bit of height to clear the board. And it looks like this. So you wanna attack the snowboarding elves. and then enter this TV to get the first amount. So the alternate way, this is a little bit more advanced because it's a tight tail bounce, but to the left of your starting point, there's a bench that you can bounce on to grab a ledge and fall out of bounds to the lower section. It just takes a little bit of practice to get. So the next remote we're getting is the Defeat Evil Sana. What I like to do for this section is just uh, tail bounce on the jump and then uh, hold it before you touch the ground like that. If you hold it for too long, he will bounce. But if you let go just before touching the ground, you won't bounce. And then we fall here to, and we press start at the right time to skip the cutscene. And this is where the bouncing types really affects the run so 
if you had the short bounce, you wouldn't be able to make this ledge. But with the running start, you are able to clear it, clear this wall. And you would want to jump up here. And then you could tail bounce on this wall here and enter this TV. <clears throat> So the next remote is Whack the Five Ice Sculptures. What I forgot to mention is that every time you enter and exit the, you enter or exit a level, you have a little bit of a transition where it will uh, play an animation of you loading in. If you hold start, uh, as that is playing, you'll be able to skip it and you'll be able to instantly move. And that's holiday broadcasting. You also want to hold, uh, you also want to press start after the first remote of every level. Otherwise, an agent extra cutscene will play. And that is a time waster. So you can either, this is a little bit, I don't know if it's a little tricky, but there's two ways that you can do this. You can go up the normal way, or you can tail bounce on this chair to get into it. Now in this level, it's the first introduction of something called a TV cancel. What a TV cancel is, is a trick that allows you to stay in a level. Yeah, to stay in a level. And there's many ways you can perform it. You can slide on a TV button, you, or you can die on top of a button and the game won't boot you out. So that's what we will be doing the first, for the first button. You want to make sure that you face, in this section you want to make sure you face the camera a little bit towards the bear so he actually moves. And then it's just a matter of going into that corner and then jumping towards the bear over the button. Hmm. What I probably should have done is in this section, before getting to that bear, uh, an easier version to get the blood coolers is to get the Dracugex costume. Because if you don't use that, it's the same as the bench trick in holiday broadcasting which is a tight, uh, tight tail bounce. You get the Dracugex costume by hitting the statue and then hitting a trans uh, transformation box thing. I don't know what it's called. And then you can death abuse after. Or you could just death abuse and then come back to the section. It really doesn't matter because this is going to be your first run and you'll easily beat it the second time you do a run around and you'll just keep getting better and better. So this is the first instance of a costume. Uh, as you can tell, in every level that you go to, Gex gets a special costume for the theme of the level. Some, aren't, some are more cosmetic, but there are some and uh, certain levels that actually give you the ability to fly or in the last section it gives you super strength in two levels is a blood cooler and then since you're doing a lot of you will be doing a lot of death TV cancels you will need to grab you would need to go out of your way to grab <clears throat> 
an extra life, otherwise you won't be able to do them. Which, for your first one, it's not really too important doing doing all of them, especially since some of them are hard, pretty hard to do. And that's the end of uh, Mystery TV. So what you want to do is you want to hold triangle to go into first person, and then look at this costume, this transformation area, to get Dracu Gex again in this area. And then we will be going out of bounds again. The difference between getting going out of bounds in a hub world versus an actual level is there's no death plane. So when you're falling down, at a certain point, it will loop you back up and you will just keep falling until you find, um, find an area where you can land. So you want to tail bounce off of that, off of the camera, and then fly up against a wall. And then you want to turn right and slowly fall down. You want to line yourself up with this yellow tape a little bit, it's not too picky, and then gradually fall down until you could see the section with the remote in the rec room right here. Boom. <clears throat> and then you just want to grab this to go into the next hub, which is Lake Flaccid. Next we will be going into Tut TV, which has, a, which has a pretty advanced trick that we will be skipping for the time being. It is, it is the second TV cancel that you do. It is frame perfect, and if you miss it, you lose a minute and a half. It's just not worth doing in the beginning. So what you want to do is you just want to follow what I'm doing in this level up until a certain point. We will be doing another TV council in this level with the bonus of having an animal friend. While you're on an animal friend, the game can't boot you out of the level as long as you're on it. But as soon as you get off of the animal friend, it will try booting you out, and if you are too far away from the origin of the TV that you TV cancelled off of, it will soft lock. So don't do that. Grab this checkpoint for safety. Hit the spider. Oh, I missed. That's wonderful. Alright. So coming up, we will be in an area where you can have your animal friend. And usually, during normal gameplay, you're not supposed to have that animal. F you're only supposed to have that animal friend in that section. But by jumping off of the animal friend right over the trigger that automatically kicks up, kicks you off of it, it will uh, inch you forward over that trigger, and then you can enter. You can go into an area that you're not supposed to with this animal friend. And it looks like this. Just be careful when over pits, because if uh, you're not grounded, the camel will uh, start moving down. Takes a little bit of time getting used to, but if you're not on the ground, you wanna climb up this wall. And if you're not on the ground, uh, he will slowly start moving down unless you constantly jump. You want to come over to this section and land right here. If you land anywhere else, it's a death plane. And you and they it rise for some reason it, the death plane rises. So if you touch anywhere that's not that little platform, you die. So you want to bring him over to this area. hit him and you want to make sure that you're on the camel when you hit this staff otherwise he will disappear after the cutscene another 
thing is you don't want to touch these or if you want to, if you touch these by accident you don't want to hold a direction and you don't want to jump otherwise there's a chance that uh it it freaks out and there's a chance that if you're moving or jumping it'll clip you clip you through the floor and you will die So we're coming up to the area where we'll TV cancel. You want to face the camera away from the sky, otherwise he'll constantly shoot at you, and he can kill you. If this is too, if doing this is a little bit too hard for you, what you can do is you can just go through the level and collect them normally without going out of bounds with the camel. This is a little bit tricky, but once you get the timing right, you know, with enough, of course, with enough practice, you can get it. What, what you can also do is instead of timing it, I think you might, you can mash the jump button, but I'm not sure. So this is where you do the first, this is where you do another TV cancel. You want to tail whip, you want to jump over the button and tail whip onto the animal friend. And then you want to climb this wall. And then you want to position yourself on this button. Whoops. I didn't do that right. Yeah, that's a soft lock. That's, that's fun. <laughs> I am playing on a PS2, as you can tell. Uh, we do allow emulators. You just have to go on the page and check what emulators are allowed for the Gex series. And once you get more up there, there are different versions of the PS2 which are use which are pretty useful to run on. Uh, mine is a 75k, which is which gives you less lag, but it's the same load times. I think 39k's give you faster load times because fast disk speed, but you have more lag, and then some other ones give you no no bonus effects. So I'm just gonna be going into Tut TV again. I feel like I'm back at 54. Oh. I have voices on. That's right. You can always just show the normal. If you don't want to have to deal with the camel. And that's your little show of what happens when you're too far away from a TV and you land on the ground after a TV cancel. I don't need to worry about this guy because I'm not going for that remote. It's kind of nice that I could show you a 
an alternate instead of doing the camel for first run. My first run was a 108 and I did I didn't do any TV cancel if I'm remembering right. Or I did only a few. description a link to the discord the gex speedrunning discord or you can always find them on speedrun you can always find us on speedrun.com our discord will be posted in the resources tab okay now i can go for the uh wait no i, I already did that Since I kind of goofed, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to use uh, the debug menu a little bit and to get the, to get the remotes that I lost because I soft locked and I'm going to need to get into Lake Flaccid again to show you what, where to go right after. If you want to focus on improving your improving the movement for this game, you can always go to you can always do an attempt of the no TV cancel category, which is great for that. I hope I got that. And then the last one is the the camel. I didn't get it. Uh, let me be a dirty a dirty cheater. <laughs> uh, how many should I have? One, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine? Doesn't matter too much. Let's see. Get three here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get two. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> this is a rough one after all. A rough guide. Just to help some people get into the game. We don't really have too many... Too many guides for this game. I 
I hope I got all I hope I went through all all three sections yeah I think I did it's kind of hard to <laughs> kind of hard to tell and I just kind of cheese through everything and that's tut TV then. Now I can go into uh, Lake Flaston and show you again. I think it's. I think I should save actually. I get. I should get rid of debug mode as well. Oh, oh that's fun. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save just in case something happens again. Just so I don't have to <laughs> do that all over again or get all the remotes. So when you get out of the level, you want to make your way to Western. Make your way to Western. Western has the easier one of has like the easiest TV councils you can do because you have an animal friend throughout the whole level. And we just death abuse right after we get the TV council. So you want to hop off the animal friend right here. You want to make sure you get the first card, which is in this section. Then you want to jump up here. Come to this section. And then you want to climb up the wall. I usually just mash to get up there. TV Council. Take a death. This is why it's so important to go out of your way. It's very easy to go back to go down to zero lives and then you can't do any of the trip, any of the TV councils. Which if it happens is not too big of a deal, like I've said before, because this is this would be your beginning run. And you can improve on many things later, later on. Do another TV council, take a death. I want... Yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> So of course these carts are on a cycle, so what you can do is face the camera away from them and as long as they're f you're not facing them, uh, they won't move. But if you don't want to do that, you can just wait for them. And you can hop on that ledge, get all three remotes. Skip the cutscene. Now we, we will be falling down to army channel to get those remotes
Army Channel has another uh, TV Council, but it's more difficult. So we won't be doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. That's just kind of muscle memory from actually from uh, doing runs. You just want to get into this section and do it normally. You want to be careful with those grenades, they have a large radius, it's very easy to get hit by them. So what you can do is use the machine gun to just blow them up before they do, before they blow up themselves. Since we're not doing the TV console in this area, you can let them spawn. What you do to, what you do for the, the setup of that TV council is you want to face the camera away from them. I'm just gonna exp explain it, but don't do it. This is more advanced. It's more of an advanced strat. But you face the camera away from it so it doesn't spawn in. You go through the section, blow up the searchlight, get the briefcase, and then you turn the camera back. So when you load, when you load into that section again, it spawns that grenade. And then you wait a little bit, jump over the button, it explodes, kills you, and you die on the button. But just follow what I'm doing with the beginner route. Banging. So now we are heading we are heading to the final level in this hub world which is the buccaneer program. It has a little bit of a tight jump but with enough practice you'll be able to get it. It's pretty much just a theme for all the tight jumps. Just do them over and over. What I would recommend is do it in short little short little bursts of practice. You don't want to focus too much on them on the non-important ones, but just to get your feet in the door for them. You want to bounce off this map post, hold the X button to make sure that you tail bounce off of it. And then, oops. And then you want to tail bounce off that to get to the higher level. So if you fall here, you can go through it, you can either go through it normally, or there's a little gap that you can jump through right there to get back to the section. Tail grab, whoops. Then you want to tail bounce, grab that ledge, come up here. 
And now we're getting into the next section, which is the Wall of Death. But lucky for us, we can go through it quite quick. As long as you just go through the gaps in the wall on the left side. Whoa. The camera likes to freak out sometimes, so it just takes a little bit of going back or trying to adjust it a little bit. It doesn't do very well in tight spaces. We will be getting two remotes in this level. We'll be getting this one and the one up here. There's two ways you can get up here. This is more advanced. It's the tail bounce to get there. Or you can go the any percent route, which is really easy. Just fall down here. Whoops, grab that out of habit, and then just wait for it to bring you up. And then you just do the same thing again with a wall of death. Watch out for those skeleton guys. Sometimes I like to knock you off the platform. And that ladder that just spawned, that is very helpful if you accidentally fall down. You can just climb up and get to that same exact section. So in the next hub, this is where the route changes a little bit. The more advanced, when you get up to the advanced level, you go through mythology. But since we're, since we're in the beginning phase, we will be going to anime, the anime channel. Boom. And now we save and quit to get back to the menu and to have all our lives back. We will be losing a lot of health in the next hub because of the TV cancels. So it's best to grab the extra life above the Slappy Valley door. Right here. So for this next trick, what you want to do is you want to jump into the corner of the wall and then mash R, mash R2 to crouch so you can clip through the wall and just keep holding straight. Keep holding the angle that you had as you were uh, mashing crouch to grab the ledge. It looks like this. <clears throat> as you can see in this run, we skip a lot of the bosses. It, it's pretty lucky that we can do that because they are extremely boring. They downgraded from Gex into the Gecko. So there are two ways to get to the Bean, lab, the um, Fairy Tale TV. You can do the tight jump here to get the ledge grab, which is pretty hard. I still miss it a lot of the time as well. That ledge grab. Or, I think there's an easier version. I think there's actually three ways. There's an easier version, you just... Tail bounce off there to get that. Or, what you can do is you can go into that cave and just jump. Just go all the way around to get to it. probably better for you to do the other two the easier one or just go all the way around because that jump is that jump can be pretty annoying so in this level you will be doing a slide TV council <clears throat> another slide TV council so what you want to do is jump away from it to gain a little bit of speed and then just before you 
go on just before you land on the button you want to let go of the direction so he goes into the slide animation and while he's in the slide animation you can either jump or crouch it's better to hold crouch because you have more time to jump away and go to the death plane it's what I do I would recommend when you're first starting out or if you just want to get even better at doing them, I recommend doing it on an inactive TV just so you don't have to go through the hassle of loading into the level again, going through the objective, and then having another shot at it. This way it's much easier. It's what I do for both versions of the TV console, the slide, um, this one, and then the one on the top. So you just want to climb the beanstalk. And then tail bounce off of this part. And jump over the, the three candles. We will be hitting a checkpoint just so that we can land where we, we can be where we want to be quicker. And then we just fall down to the next section, to the lower section to get the third one. And this is where we do the TV cancel. So you can tail bounce off of this stock to get to that higher spot, to get to that checkpoint quicker, but it's a little bit more tricky. So another option is just coming to this section and then bouncing up again. Oh wait, never mind. That's only for the advanced route, sorry. We will be doing this normally, no TV cancel. The button is elevated higher, so you can't slide onto it. You will, you will need to do the more complicated version of a TV cancel to get that button, which we're not gonna be doing in the beginner route. So you just wanna fall down to this, fall down to get to the three houses and just hold forward. And die. Actually, you do need that checkpoint, otherwise, you'd start from the beginning. get to the very top of the level
You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably give you uh, the codes for the debug menu and the level select menu. So for the debug menu, you pause the game, you hold R2, and then you put in up, circle, left up, no, what was it? Up, circle, right up, left, right down. And it gives you the debug menu. And then for the level select menu, you, ho you hold R2 again and you press left, triangle, up, down, down. No, up, down, right, right. Was that right? Left, triangle, up, down, right, right. Yeah. Left triangle, up, down, right, right. <laughs> Alright. So, now that we're going to anime, anime has a pretty cool out of bounds to get to the lower section. You want to be careful because if you land in the wrong section, you have to get out of the level and then go back in. Uh, and if you go into a part where it's the final uh, tube and you hit it, instead of the cut, the, instead of the cutscene playing, it will just crash. So you want to tap R. You want to tap tap L2 to get the camera like this, and then you do a jump. And then you want to fly into this section. This section is safe. You want to fly a little bit over this gap to to trigger the spawn of these uh, anime girls. If that's too hard for you, you can just do it the normal way. So a cool little cutscene skip that you can do here is you can attack that, you can hit that um, tube, and then if you la if you're on the ground, you can karate kick, which will skip the cutscene. Whoops. That's fine because we'll be taking another death abuse here, like that. Looks like that if you got it. That cutscene skip. Oops. Now you can't do it on this one for some reason. It just won't it won't work. So this death abuse saves you from having to go all the way back up. We will be doing we will be doing a death abuse two times in this level. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> I gotta get the remote first. This part is pretty boring. It's a lot of just going back and forth, hitting stuff to trigger this pad to go up higher. Just make sure you get you get hit a few times so you can do the death abuse. Mm 
<clears throat> In this section, it's pretty easy to get hit by the bombs. So you don't really have to worry too much about getting low enough on health. If you want a shorter run, I also have an any percent tutorial that I made two years ago, three years ago. After this level, we will be saving and quitting again to get to the title screen. Get back to the, to the hub. Be careful when trying to karate kick or jump. Well, it's mostly karate kick. Because if you do it too early, there's a chance that you skip the cutscene too, too fast. And then you can't get the remote. So it's best not to do it at all. Not to karate kick at all. We don't need to get that extra health for Funky Town because we have enough health thanks to a extra life being accessible in Super Zero, the last level we will visit.
You just want to fly a little bit and then let go. If you go too far, you won't land on the platform on the other side. Now we will be going into Gangsta. Gangsta TV, baby. I would recommend just getting rid of these guys just so they won't be a problem when you're trying to hit the lock. It's a little finicky in the lock. And if they throw something at you while you're getting that uh, firefly, you can tail whip and you won't get hurt. So we won't be doing... Eh, I'll do one. One TV council because it's not too bad. So what you can do in this section is if you're at an angle, you can actually shoot through this fence to hit those two. Watch out for that rat. He is a pain. He's hard to hit sometimes. You can hit, you can get rid of these guys because they're a little bit of a pain. They can be a little bit of a pain. So I'll show it off and you can decide if you want to do this one. This one's another easy one. Because you have the bonus of being able to hold crouch. Which gives you more time to plan where you're going. Here's another tight little jump that you can do. If you can't do that. Oops. If you can't do that, there's a rope. So you can climb up there and then come down here. So I guess it's better to just practice that so you can get it out of the way because there's a lot of places where, you'll be, where you have to do that. You have to do the, that tight jump. But there, there's no pressure for it. I just didn't realize that there were quite a bit of areas where you would need to do it. So if you weren't doing the TV council, you would hit this lock and then go up to that area. The area where you shoot down the bundles of funny money. And you do another jump here. And for this TV council, you want to hit the lock while on this button. And as the camera is panning to you, you, you want to hold R2 so you can crouch. It gives you a lot of time to do this. Then you'll jump and land on that rat. It looks like this. Be careful when you're aiming for that lock because it's a little bit of a weird angle. If you, if you have a weird angle, it won't connect with the lock. Uh, would it really be worth it? do that actually because then you'd have to do this which is pretty difficult to do and it takes a while
Probably doesn't save time if you don't do that. If you don't do that. So it's probably better to just not do that TV council. A lot of stuff that I'm figuring out after all this is a quick a quickie. But it is always good to just show it off. Show off some of the things that you can do. Coming to the end. So, another note that I will bring up is with the cats, if you shoot at it and it hits it and you're not looking at it, the game won't count it as a hit. So you have to restart the level. Going to first person. This is the cat that gives you, the, gives you problems. So it's best to just wait on it until that two pops up. Then you want to come down here. Hit this. That cat. So we're not going straight to that TV because we have two TV cancels to do. So normally in this level, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit, I think it's three guys to open up a door. But if you fall off a ledge and die, and have the camera face it as you spawn, face that door as you spawn in. For some reason that opens and you don't have to worry about those guys. It is this section right here. And this is what I was talking about. There's an extra life right here that spawns every time you die. So you can just use it. And we don't have to go out of our way. You don't really have to go out of your way to get it. And that's what I'm talking about with the camera. So to get to this section, you want to fly at the peak of your jump. So you have enough height. Whoops. I was not expecting that. If you miss it, you can always just fly back here and then come back to the section. Let me try that again. Oh, missed it. You can either do that or get the strength thing from that thing right there to turn to um, strong gex and just hit that. If that jump is still too tight. That should be fine. Yeah. So he's going to be throwing stuff at me. I want to whack it back at him. And after I hit him, I want to turn the camera away from him so he doesn't jump away. And it's easy to get the other hits in. Like this. A funny thing with this guy is that... After you beat him for some reason, if you die, you don't keep the costume when you usually should. So just keep that in mind. You'll need to do that same thing with the door because it um, it doesn't open unless you face it every time you spawn in again. What I like to do is I like to hug this corner. Just so I can get here to this guy. I find it easier to do than do a tail bounce and try to glide around to that section, that later section. Boom. 
This is where we'll be doing another TV cancel. One. And then we just fly down. And now it's res record time. So in res record, we have an advanced strat, an advanced uh, glitch that was found probably two, I think it was two years ago, called Barrier Skip. We will not be worrying about that. It involves another glitch, which gives Gex, for some reason it gives Gex fast speed, quick speed, and add that with pausing at the side of the wall, and then doing a quick, um, a quick direction to have him slide through a gap in the, in the door. You'll be able to save 40 seconds, but You'll, you'll have lots of time to save anyways, so you don't need that one. You won't need that trick. I find it's just better to just glance over if you are going to seriously run this game and try to get good times. Just to go over what to expect. So here we will be hitting the generators. Climb this wall. Uh, muscle memory, sorry. And then you can, at a certain height, you can fly up to this next area to get the second one. That's two. So for the res fight, um, you will be hitting his target and for some reason when you jump away from him as he's putting his hands down it opens up his target thing quicker which is pretty nice I will show you once we get there so to skip this cutscene you can just jump just keep jumping which will save you a little bit of time up the barrier when getting this fly point when getting this fly that gives you the ability to spit you don't want to tail whip it if you tail whip it it won't spawn up again like that so be sure to when you attack it first be sure to uh, be sure to tail bounce over it so when you, a good thing to keep in mind is his head turns. So on the third head turn, he will rip, he will lower his arms, and that's when you wanna during that animation. That's when you wanna jump away, like that. And then to dodge his attacks, you just want to go into this lower corner. But don't do it too early, because if you do it too early, he will send out his rockets. Timing ends when you, uh, when the congratulations screen shows up. If you're on PS, if you're on PS1 or the one with more lag, you want to hold, go into first person and look at the ground to lower the lag and that's it that is a quick run through of gex 3 deep cover gecko i hope you have a good time running this game it is very fun uh very rewarding at 
when you get the TV cancels and you get you start slowly getting a good time, but uh, it's very challenging at a higher level because you have the Tut TV frame perfect tail whip. But that is it. Thank you for watching.